Hello everyone, welcome back to 2236 AD. Now I forgot to place a part. Yeah, I, I thought I finished this, but I forgot. So let's go ahead and do not chase after Senpai. We are going for no one. This way. Huh? Senpai! I swear I can hear Hime Senpai's voice. Huh? Where from? It's all in an instant. In the midst of my thoughts, I lose track of the voice and senpai. Damn it. Anyway, I continue walking on. I feel like the voice is coming from this way. Let me see. Oh no. Welcome. It's the doctor. What is she doing here of all places? Um, we have the biggest collection of merchandise in the universe. Akashic Video, Archive 3rd Kira Odori Shop. Welcome and how do you do? Um, yes. By coming here you can find any and everything. That is to say, there is nothing in the world that we don't have here. It is the universe's biggest video shop. It's plain as day she's reading from a manual. That plus the monotone speech. What is she hoping to do? Now then, please take your time and search for your untraversed reality. My... Untraversed reality. Every possibility of every aspect. Every dream. No, there are neither possibilities nor dreams. It is reality. The reality that you just did not choose. All of the rest of the reality that Alice prepared for you. All realities are realities selected and traversed by you. But a you that differs from the you that stands there right now. One that comes from one of the several kinds of realities. But... I am me, aren't I? You have managed to see all realities. Or in other words, you have chosen the reality where you were able to come here, to the Archive. Do you have any questions? With all realities being viewable here, do you mean that all experiences can be had? Or, for example, can I see the reality the Hadi and Senpai has seen too? I will answer the latter part first. It is generally difficult to see another person's reality. Because of the way of viewing reality being so different between person to person. The way Alice assigns meaning to each person differs, so the way that she assigns meaning to your own reality also differs. This means that as long as you are you, you will only be able to see your own reality. Now for the former. I do believe it's mostly possible to view experiences close to your so-called everything. However, 
For example, you cannot see a four-sided triangle. That is because that figure does not exist in your version of reality. Any more questions? No, that will be all. There are boxes lined up of all on a row and displayed cases just like back in the Akashic record. There are titles, pictures, summaries, and other such things placed on the boxes. My guess is that there are videos in this case. Proceeding through the store, there are cases labeled Your Story lined up. This is it? Inside, there it is. The Haru Shion Arc. Your Story, The Haru Shion Arc 1. This is one of the fates I never traversed. Another kind of story with Haru Shion. April 7th, 2231. Hmm. A new semester, I catch on to her. Oh, her uniform's different. It's black and yellow. But she still has that. Was it red before? I take a screenshot. Round face and short hair. Haru Shion. That is her name. The same name as a goddess. She sure is pretty, I think. I've heard rumors of her for a while now. Though this is probably the first time that I've ever recognized her as a subject to be explored. It's at that moment that I take a liking to her despite not knowing anything about her. May 13th. Shiraishi. Ishizuka kun and Hirata san are together, aren't they? I take screenshots, my dude. That's common knowledge by now, isn't it? Wasn't it the background fall of freshman year or something? Huh? That far back? What's with you? You didn't know? I only saw I really really saw them going home together yesterday. Slow on the draw, I see. Ah, oh, come on. Where did you find that out? <laughs> Secret. Yeah, I see. You're pretty friendly around girls, so it makes sense. I don't quite think that's the case here. Um, he said the track and field club sprint is over. Hi, Haru. You look adorable. I think screenshot. Huh? Huh? Everyone's already left. Wow, she's right. The volleyball club is going to use the gym next. Oops. I see. Thanks for taking the time to tell us, Haru. No problem. Ah, man, today wore me out. Turn up. Uh, I sure do want a girlfriend. Well, that was sudden. You don't? I'm not too sure. I mean, come on, it's great. You get to hold hands and... And? Go on dates and... And? Then, uh, 
uh, w once the mood is good, you can kiss and stuff. What stuff? Uh, the good stuff, you know. Uh, further on to uh, nurture your love. You, you take the tip and do this and that and... Uh, come the hell on. Ah! What are you making me say? Oh, well, just, just forget about it. Yeah, you know. Out in public? No? And that's true. That means if I go on a date and I just snowballs, I'll have no money to take a break anywhere. Or maybe... Hey, get it out, Yatsuba. You're certainly full of power. Say, Yatsuba. Yatsuba? Hey! Uh, yeah. What? Wanna go to karaoke? Oh. Huh? Go to karaoke? Mask? Is that Mosco? She's not an AI, she's a human? She's got... Is that brown? She's got like some brownish greenish hair and a cute ribbon. I, 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 I missed you, Mosco. It was good to see you again. In a different form. Mosco? That'd be great. You wanna go too, Mosco? Huh? Who's coming? Just me and Yatsuba for the time being. Hey. Mm, what to do? I do want to go, but... Hi, Haru. Oh. Haru, Haru! Do you want to go to karaoke right now? Karaoke? Huh? With this group? Maybe. Also, Mosca, we're not going right now. We we got club stuff to do. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I just realized how uh, pristine uh, Mosca's skin is. It's super pale. Mm -hmm. I have club too. Wow, wow, wow! I guess I jumped the gun a bit then. No worries. Alright, next time I guess. <laughs> Make sure to invite me when that day happens, okay? Gotcha. I probably have a thing for her. Somehow it seems fragile, like I have to handle things carefully. Still haven't been able to get in a good conversation with her recently. Why are you? <laughs> Why are you recommending me a student council president? Have you bumped her head? There is no one else around, so I figured it'd be okay. You no good jerk. What? Don't run. You're not getting off the hook. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, Haru? You have your hands full, huh? You got it. I've ended up being put in the running for vice president. But I think... You're pretty qualified for the job, Haru. I wonder about that. That's great. President and Vice President. It would make for one fine portrait. I haven't won the selection yet, though. I wonder if I can win. You'll be okay, Haru. It'd be nice if we could win together. I'm not... Uh, too keen on. Oh, let's try your best. 
Well, okay. Okay? Sure. Something that won't reach far away. Something that shouldn't be touched. Something with a loose sense of relationship. That's what everyone says. But I think she's a girl that absolutely excels. Haru is kind to everyone. Has a good head on her shoulders. Is smart and is athletic. She even has a lot of friends. No one hates her. That's my thought process. So I can't quite imagine a day when I'd be a person of interest to her. December, oh. It still hasn't settled in that I'd become the vice president. Not at all. I'm going to throw those words right back at you. Are you nervous? I keep thinking, boy, this is an extremely bad mess I've gotten into. <laughs> and after you made such a well-structured speech, too. I was... me going with the flow, you know? And the way the wind blows. What are you talking about? <laughs> President Yatsuba. Huh? Oh, yes. I think there's a lot to still be done. But I'm going to support you, so I hope we do well together. Mm-hmm. That would be great. Let's do our best. Mm-hmm. Oh, how cute. They're the president, vice president, student council. How nice. Let's do our best. February. Establish a split into groups? Yeah. Our school doesn't get many chances for intermingling with people from higher or lower grades, right? And even if there are, the best we've got are upper and underclassmen from the same club. That's true. If we make this work, at least at student council events, it could be interesting to carry out activities or groups with a mixed bag of year levels. That makes sense. We're all going to the same school, and our school is short on people as it is. Like, 120 people? That's why I feel more great intermingling can only lead to more fun. That's a very Yatsuba-esque idea. You think? Mm -hmm. I was listening to all of your speech, after all. Stop that, you're embarrassing me. Oh, President... Come on. Hmm, <laughs> President... You're vice president yourself, aren't you? I don't know what that means, sorry. Oh, well, you can it? <laughs> she is most certainly becoming a special presence to me. The signs are all there. Now then, we will now begin the first student council of the year. Right. Up till now, the Vice President and I have been getting a head start in doing various things behind the scenes. But today will mark the first day for activity that includes you, members of the Student Council. So, without further ado... Well, I'm sure you're all shy, but we'll start with self-introductions. I am your President, Yatsuba. Um, or how should I put this? Makes fun of me with eyes. Or just leave it all to me, more or less. Hey, yeah, uh, President. Quite reliable. What are you talking about? Cheese. Alright, you're up next. Come on. Yes, yes. Um. I am Vice President. I wonder what she's gonna talk about. How to put this. The President has points where he's a little flaky and slacks off, so I want to use everything in my power to support him and pick up his slack. Indeed. 
<laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Anyhow, let's all help each other out. Let's make this year something special. Yeah. Hooray! Good grief. I think, dropping my gaze and scratching my head. When I look back up, there's her face. Let's do our best. I find myself wanting to revert my gaze. Now then, next star executive officer. Alright. I am executive officer. Ah, oh, Moscow's executive officer. How nice. Still like a snow crystal. He tries stirring it intently as it never forgets form, but it quickly melts away. Something that can't be caught. 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 Why did I say it like that? April. Ooh. So, hey, when do we start splitting into groups? Are you supposed to tie up about time we start making those? We're about done with all the work for the beginning of the year. It's about time we can start launching that idea. Group split chop. Clapping chop catch. We have a couple of morons. But is there a concrete way of making them? We have a lot of students, don't we? Mm, I guess we could draw lots. We can't draw lots. Why not? We might make a group with just boys or just girls. Oh, you have a point. Okay then, we have dyslexic boys and girls. Then we'll draw a latte. I said we can't. How come? Try to think how bad you'd feel if people you don't get along with got pushed into the same group as you. If that happened, then forget about connecting with underclassmen or seniors I'll have a negative impact regardless. Mm, I see. On the same principle, it's not good to gather a bunch of people or friends with each other together either. Meaning that we should probably try our best to gather students who don't mingle that much with each other. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. I think it's a great idea. You can't count on how to for these kinds of situations. <laughs> how do you really has a firm grip on things? No surprise, considering she always has good grades. Having the student council decide on their own how friendly every student in school is with each other is a bit ostentatious, but what how do you saying makes perfect sense. Our student body consists of about 120 people. And this way, maybe the best we got. Halle has never before constructed such a plan from nothing. But she is ambitious in her work for the student council, bringing up some wise and fair idea every time. She's a person who well fits the title of my supporter. She's a vice president with a good head on her shoulders. Oh, summertime. They say Shizuka and Hirata are together again. How many times does this make? Uh, once in fall of freshman year. Uh, broke up in spring of sophomore year. Got back together in fall of sophomore year. And broke up in winter of sophomore year. So this is spring of junior year, so this is the third, huh? That's a lot of times. Well, if they're on good terms, then all's well that ends well. By the way, what's your situation like? What? You're getting along, right? You have to. Huh? President, are you skipping again? We're still on break. Oh, speak of the devil. Devil? Hey. What the hell was that? What the hell is going on? Haruki? Saki got a heart attack. 
Your face scares me. What? What the heck? The sound of something tumbling down with a doll thought it comes from somewhere in the gym. Did some glass break? Glass. From up top? I... I'm going to go see. Ali says, starting to run. Does she plan on going to Jim's catwalk? Yatsuba? Uh, we should follow. We chase after Haru, heading to the catwalk where Kara has already formed. Oh, not you too, Haru. Your eyes are like that too. I'm saving that. Oh, it's a bird. He died. A bird crashed through the glass of the window and died. Why is it all, uh... Wet. Please don't tell me you saw another on the bird and just chucked it through the window. It doesn't seem to be bleeding any, but white, muddy, jewel-like fluid is leaking out of its mouth. There are some girls around rubbernecking to see the scene, peeking in and shrieking. A lump of mass in bird form lies there sprawled, unmoving, as air grows more tepid. Why is the music so calming when this dead bird just smashed through the window? Without a shadow of a doubt, this is death. What she and I are witnessing is death. Yatsuba, we had to take care of this. But we can't just leave it here. We should just take the initiative and act now, right? No, should we go and call a teacher or a janitor? Okay, then call a teacher, Yatsuba. I'm going to do something about this. Upon saying that, Haru gently lifts up the bird's corpse. Yuck. The gooey fluid droops from it. What are you doing? Huh? Eh. The bird moves. Oh, it's alive! Must have still had hair left. Probably his death rattle. Eh. How to get spooked and let go of it. The bird drops onto the glass shard laden floor. Ah, oh, he killed it again. The bird flutters and flounders around, ceasing movement again after a short while. Haru? This time she tries to dispose of the glass. Haru, I don't think we need to do anything here. You good? Haru? Haru, what happened? Whoa. Ah, she got a cut. We're not saying, uh, we're saying it's not safe. We don't have to do anything. Are your fingers alright? It's blood. Oh. I'll go and call for a teacher. Then I'll bring a janitor too. Should I should take care of Haru? Hmm. What possessed her to do that, I wonder? Was it because she wanted to hurry and start the volleyball club since she's the captain? Was she trying to work for everyone at stake? Was its sense of responsibility from being the student council vice president. Whatever it was, she really is serious about her work. Brave, too. I'm a little taken aback. I probably would have run away. I can't comprehend her actions, and I get the feeling that Holly is pushing her virtues and responsibilities on me again. Before that happens, I go off and run away on my own. 
she has a kind of streak in her. Though, to put it accurately, it's a little different. This is something that I've noticed by working with Hari Shion on the student council this long. I don't think she is trying to push those things onto others. It's more like I'm gonna take the initiative so that I don't push them onto others. That's the right thing to do. In her mind, at least. That's why she couldn't leave well enough alone. As eventually, the teacher and janitor I called for take care of the rest of the cleanup. Howdy's bleeding quickly stops. However, that day it seems Howdy takes a break from the club activities and stays just to observe. One. School. Semester. Down. Well, thanks so much for a great semester, guys. Tomorrow's that summer break. We're getting together during summer break too, though. Hmm. Yatsuba, let's go to the concert. A concert. Uh, what? What kind of concert? And now door festival. Summer is Sonic. That sure is far. Ah, I've been liking that healthy element of rock in my life as of late. I've been supplementing myself in the safety of my home, so I'm good. Oh, that's me. Uh, I've been supplementing myself in the safety of my own home, so I'm good. At home? I pretend I'm throwing a jump and kicking the counter in my room. You're dumb. That's dumb. Now there's a line I never want to hear from his mouth. What is this music? I never heard it before, I think. It's nice. Hey, hey, so what about you, Haru? What about what? Rock. Paper. Scissors, goo! Hands are thrown. Should I shoot? Paper. Haru, scissors. Why you? <laughs> Alright, what about Masco? We just leave him out? He kept seeing rock this and rock that, yet his luck ran out when he threw that paper. Hey, hey. What is it? How do you, do you like music? Mm -hmm. I do. Thing is, there's a marching competition happening during summer break. Really? Let's go, let's go! Alright! What's your deal? You heard him. Let's go, let's go! Go die. Just like that, we're into summer. August 19th. How's that? You're a music fan, huh? That a bad thing? I heard you before that you can play the guitar. Ah, huh, so this yacht's about plays the guitar. Preview yacht. Uh, previous yachts have played the piano and the violin. Hmm. Yeah, any rock. What about roll? Just rock. So, what's your rock you're doing coming to see a marching competition? Marching is some elements of rock to it, too. Rock? Mm hmm. Rock, as in. Like a rolling stone? Okay, what? You lost me. Yep, same. Ah, uh, ow, ow. It's Moscow. Oh. Oh, you gotta look at Moscow. A little bit without just looking just uh, at her waist up. Hi, Moscow. Thank you for coming. Can we bait Moscow next? Hmm? Hmm? Or Dr. Seeds? <laughs> Yay! Thank you as well, President. Well, it's a special occasion after all. I see. Okay then. Then it's about time for the main performance, so I'll be heading back. But here's hoping you to enjoy it. Mm hmm. Break your leg! Thanks!
Moscow sure is a good kid, huh? What's Moscow playing again? I think it's the horn. The horn is that loop the loop looking thing. I think. Huh? But that loop the loop horn is really big, isn't it? I think. But that's true, there's no way a marching band player could walk around with one of those. Huh. But she has one, right? Come on, it's way too big. The kind of instrument you need to sit on your lap to play. Huh? Uh, she did say horn, right? Maybe we misheard? Hmm. Oh, it's starting. Oh, are we gonna see Moscow with a horn? Ah, this siege is cute. Let me save it. This visual novel has so much CG, is that nice? We go to see the marching competition featuring the wind instrument club that Moscow is a part of. We watch the school's illustrious club perform. We know that they are good, but their music, when heard in a more legit venue, is really in the class all on its own. However, what Moscow ends up holding isn't that big loop de loop instrument. That was great, huh? We are really moving. I really do love music. I see. For someone who loves music so much, that whole horn top is pretty random. I think to myself slightly. I look it up afterwards to discover the instrument which Moscow had in her hands was definitely a horn. More precisely, it is apparently an instrument called a French horn and is a cousin to that loop de loop instrument. Once I tell Haru that, she gives me a brisk and energetic reaction like, oh, now I see, wow. And yet, I'm still caught up on something. I really do love music. Those aren't words that can be easily said. No, can't they be said? It almost gives me the impression that she's saying it as a front so as to not let the cat out of the bag since if no one doesn't like it, then them being here would be odd. Why am I here thinking about this stuff? I must be stupid. Hmm. I got it. Hanu has her act together and head on straight. But I always have this feeling that something's slightly off in some regard. Slightly, and I do mean slightly. The thought of me scrutinizing her to a significant degree is enough to drive me to embarrassment. Cool your head. Summer break is finally at an end, and today marks the new school semester. That morning when I get to school, I see Shiraishi is in the corner of the classroom, covertly trying to talk to some of the other guys about something. What could they be talking about? Oh. He then notices me and trots over to my desk. Yes, can I help you? Morning. Why are you grinning so hard? Oh, you know. What? Uh, talk to you about it later. What's the deal? So? Oh, we're in our summer outfits. Wow, even that little detail. We were talking about breasts. Uh, pardon? Breasts, man! Breasts. B R E A S T S. Yeah, see, me and the other guys were talking this morning about who's the one in our grade with the biggest breasts. <laughs> <laughs> this is an effective use of my time. Are you just stupid? So, Okada kun joined the mix and it got really interesting. Are you serious? Even the Kata-kun, the super diligent one, got involved. As men for you, never can predict them. So, 
the discussion went to speculating that the one with the biggest ones was Minato. That's kind of not fair. Mm hmm. Since your breasts make it not fair, we excluded them. That would just be common sense. Mm hmm? And then? Wow, I hear so you're interested now. I never said I wasn't. They say that maybe. Hinata is reasonably there, and that Hanayama looks pretty big upstairs. I see. And also... Oh. Ah, President, you are skipping again. Hi, Haru. The new semester just started and here you are. Huh? What happened? Should I see her brick is just about up, right? Uh, yep. Huh? <laughs> Glove at the club, Haru. Mm-hmm. Say, Yatsuba, you ever wondered about the state of the truth of the world? <laughs> Bring up that again. To get to them. They were pretty big, huh? Mm -hmm. They were showing through her clothes. Don't say that, it's boorish. But, you know, to go back to what we were talking about. Okada-kun said the best. Okada-kun said. One cannot take Haru's rate of expansion lightly. In his words. Okada-kun. Then everyone started to empathize. Once the athletic festival started, I made a double take at her and I feel like she's developing. Yatsuba? Yatsuba? What do you think? Mm hmm. I feel like that's. hitting the mark. Well, that's good, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh? How do you like that, you know? Huh? What are you getting at? I'm not getting at anything. There's no way you're not getting at anything. The heck? Stop yelling at me. You're making me uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable, I wonder? Huh? Is there really nothing between you and Haru? Nothing. So, President, you don't think anything of her? No. Hmm. What? Really? What was that all about, you jerk? Whoa, don't flip out over this. You're really dedicated to being annoying. Yatsuba, try going up a little. Huh? Hit. Again, I raise my hand, thinking about giving Shiraishi's lumps. But I stop. I may have gotten a bit emotional there. Heh. <laughs> mm hmm. Alright, now all you have to do is be true to your feelings. Ouch! September 8th, 2232. Damn. Wait, we're in 2231. Oh, hi, Haru. You look adorable as ever. President, good work in the athletic festival. Oh, Haru's so cute. 
should actually get in an earful. Then just what is harder to you, Yatsuba? A classmate? A student council colleague? Well, nevertheless, it's not incorrect. I mean, those are the facts, after all. However, what Shiraishi is so hung up over might not be a matter you could consider a fact, necessarily. Then just what is harder to you, Yatsuba? Maybe she'll give you a special present in my life? Would this answer satisfy Shiraishi? Would this answer satisfy me? How do the classmates, but I think she's the cutest out of all of them. It's like, for example, you know, an equilateral triangle. There are an infinite number of triangles, but there can only one exist one equilateral triangle among them. That's why it makes me happy. That's why talking with Haru makes me happier than talking to any of my other classmates. Haru is a student council colleague, but she's the closest to me out of all of them. It's just like the natural numbers are like 1 or 2. If I'm a 1, then Haru is a 2. She's the closest to me out of everyone. Yeah. She's definitely a special presence in my life. That's why. And good work too, Vice President. You really know your last address. I guess. Got a lot of criticism from the teachers and you guys while I was practicing it, so I guess it paid off. <laughs> Still, good work. I mean it. Now the only big function we're running as part of student council is the grades presentation. Hey, President. Hmm? Pretty there. Huh? Come on. Uh, okay. This is probably the first time I've touched on the girl's hand. Or any part in general. It makes me happy. I bask in a sense of superiority. It's warm. So, what was I gonna say? October 5th. Ooh. Alright. Finished? So these are the documents for the grades presentation that will be passing out on Monday morning student assembly. How do you think they turned out? Let's see, let's see. Hmm. I think it's good. Alright, then it's out to the printers. I want to hurry and go home. It's already so late. Let's hurry. It's gone cold lately. The grids presentation at the end of October is coming soon. It's been cool as to just how hard the student council has been busting their asses in preparation. Everyone's still here on the student council, the usual folks, to be more specific. And I go to the facility room and copy the printouts. Phew. It's almost time for the whole school to close for the day. I'm glad that we just made it. How do you hold the manuscript we're copying? One, two, three, seven. Eight. Here you go. The manuscript. Mm -hmm. Eight seconds. The longest record. It might be my imagination, but I feel like I'm matching gazes with Haru a lot as of late. By the way, President, our teacher asked us, have you written the manuscript for the school newsletter? Huh? Ah, uh, I forgot. Oh my, oh my. That has a deadline today too, right? Seems that way. 
Ah. Maybe you should bite the bow and stay. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll stay too. Huh? It'll be easy with the two of us coming up with ideas, right? That's true. On this day on, the instances of the student council president and vice president doing overtime like this would increase. Oh, this song is really nice. I'll look through the soundtrack later on. I can't think of anything. Yeah. I would occasionally stop thinking while pretending to be thinking. That's because it'll make the time I get to be alone with Haru longer. The time I'm with Haru really does make me happy. President, are you actually thinking? No, I was thinking about Odin soup. Jeez, take this seriously, will you? My apologies. Crying out loud, President. I'm not proposing anything either. If only you were thinking the same thing. If only. What? Nothing. What's with you? You're acting strange. You saying that while not averting your gaze. I... I like you. Well, look at the time. Oh, that's a cute expression from Haru. Usually she's not so tired looking. Maybe I should have been more capable of as a leader? Huh? No, no, no. You're plenty capable, President. Tomorrow we're going to the mountain. There's stuff to do, though. You're okay with that? Okay, don't just give me the silent treatment like that. <laughs> By the time we're finished with overtime, the school closing time has already passed. Basically meaning that the only students in the school right now are Haru and me. Well, we're all alone. Huh? What? We're all alone. Is that a reference? Can you guess what I mean by that? Like, only the lonely? I'm bad at kebab culture. <laughs> Am I wrong? Maybe I should have said just the two of us. Oh, yeah, that's more clear. Today, Sugiyama Sensei talked about this during math class. Said it moved him to tears. He was talking about that? It's math class for Pete's sake. She smiles a lot. This face is the one that most reflects her. She can smile and maintain the symmetry and never lose her beauty. As we go back from our overtime, the world is pitch black and gives me the feeling that's just the two of us around. The small lamp is keeping things illuminated. The time we have till we hit the T junction lit by the lamp is our time limit. We walk and exchange small talk in the school entrance to that spot. Sweet white bean buns sure are good. Why are sweet white beans white? I mixed up tomato sauce with meat sauce. Yeah, we just talked about some truly trivial things. Time's up. We come to the junction and we naturally stop in our tracks. Making it this far, it almost seems as if the flow of time is stopping for whatever reason. Oh. I don't have to say, but I'll save it just in case. Such a nowhere conversation. This time of year it's so cold my hands are going numb. Also, it's already so late. Still, I want to keep talking with her like this. The winter air slightly brushes across my nose. The scent of winter. Those numb, cold hands of hers. I want to warm them up so bad. President, I printed them out. Thanks. So diligent. 
yet. Ooh. All right, I'm out to the gym for a bit. Thanks again. Man, the greatest presentation is here tomorrow, huh? Yeah, really. Guess this ends all the big student council functions, huh? Mm -hmm. This will do it. Yeah, it sinks in. This ends the big functions. Meaning that the student council will be winding down. We won't have any need to do work overtime either. Huh? It's moving in a way. Yep. Good work. Like they say, there's no such thing as forever in reality. Hey ya. Ah, hey ya. Today we leave school individually. You're a slow walker, Haru. Maybe so. I think I walk on the slow side. But is it that you're just walking fast, Preston? No, I'm definitely going slow. I'm always the one getting left behind by everyone. Oh, wow. Yep. And how did I catch up with her? <sighs> Tomorrow's a day, huh? Aren't you forgetting something? Am I forgetting something? Though, if it were nothing, you'd be fine. Oh, jeez. Should I come out and say it? Even though we always make small talk all the time, not a word gets exchanged. Granted, maybe it's my fault. Um. Haru. Yes? In the end, I'm only able to see on that day. God damn it, that's fine. Hey, oh yeah. I used to have that computer. Uh, that monitor. I can't muster up the courage. Damn it. I have to tell her, though. Because once tomorrow is over, it'll be too late. I had the feeling that our eternity is near its end. What do I do though? I definitely don't want this thing out of the bag, so don't talk to anyone but Haru. The part of me wants to talk it out with someone though. Oh my god! I don't want to talk with Moscow. Should I? She will blabber mouth too much. Mm. I I try Moscow. Maybe Moscow is most suitable for this. I trust Moscow. Ah, it's your theme song. She's a very important and capable person who is easy to talk to, and more importantly, more likely to understand where I'm coming from in my feelings. She's a fine executive officer. Okay, Moscow is this. Moscow is my only choice. There is something I want to talk about with you. I email her. Her reply comes after a short wait. Talk about what? About tomorrow? <laughs> uh, she used that face. Well, I guess this kind of response is to be expected. In terms of timing. And the student council, that is. No, it doesn't have much to do with the student council, actually. What then? I think about how much I'm beating around the bush. Still, it's going to take some courage to open up to her. Actually, it's about Haru. Mm, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, Moscow. I had a feeling that everyone was already wise to what's happening. Tomorrow... I'm going to confess to her. Hmm, really? Yeah, what do you think? Think it'll work? Hmm. 
What do you think? What is that smiley about? A few seconds haven't even passed by, but it feels much longer than that. Can I be honest with you? My heart skips a beat. Mm -hmm. I think there's no chance of something good coming from this. But somewhere I have a small sliver of faith in the situation. For now, I don't think the outer likes you, President. Mm. I knew it. I knew it in my ass. Shoot this, here I was hoping she'd... Here I was hoping that maybe Haru liked me too. My feelings are in the emotional gray area, hard to define. Moscow's single statement makes me feel as though I've gotten pushed off a cliff. I don't hear anything about you from Haru. She talks about Shiraishi Kun all the time on the other hand. Oh Shiraishi you fucking bastard. Those two are childhood friends, right? Yeah, they're close friends. So how do you like Shiraishi? Mm, I wouldn't say that either. Thank goodness. You may put your mind at ease, lol. Thanks for the help. No problem, lol. Are you going to confess though? Mm. What should I do? Well, it's worth a shot, right? Besides, nothing is impossible. Oh. If I can get a good opportunity, then I'll try it. Yeah, go for it. Then aside, I had no idea you liked Hardy, President. Don't tell anyone. Leave it to me. Moscow doesn't seem like the type to misuse my information. Still pretty shocking. I feel I was banking on my hopes on this. We looked into each other's eyes, walked home together, shared small talk. Tell me, what was any of that then? It's the day. Class 2 was the winner, huh? Yay! The greatest presentation is over. We put the boombox radio away together. We have a chat. On stage when we announced the judging results in the chorus contest, I knew the results right there though. It was tough. I see. It's like we're probing around each other for clues. I wonder if Haru has even noticed. I will give this two more minutes. I wonder what's wrong. We used to always have fun just shooting the breeze like this. If I always acted more natural and less stilted around each other. Before we even realized it, we became unable to do the things we used to be able to do. Not Chen went on some cosmic state, didn't she? Haru. Have you ever put on cosmetics? Or makeup, I guess. Mm -mm, I don't do that at all. When and why did we come upon this topic again? Even that is vague. The presence that is present before us is absolutely, positively, toying with us somehow. Still, my cheeks are red. So I think it totally looks like I'm wearing blush. They are indeed red. Right? See how things are. Will I be able to come out and say it? Say it. I haven't scheduled a meetup or called her for crying out loud. When should I tell her? Do it now! Today is a function day. So I doubt that we'll be able to go home like on a weekday. Perhaps if we weren't able to go home alone today, will there be another day when I can say this? Otherwise... I spent my entire life regretting the days gone in which I said nothing. Say it! Now then everyone, I want to thank you all for a great grades presentation. Thank you! My goodness. I spent more time than I anticipated on cleaning up. The student council at drones at the same time as yesterday. Hi Moscow. Moscow approaches me with a demure expression. 
Did you say it? She asked in a whisper. Not yet. I see. That's all Moscow says. Threw me a subtle good luck sign and then leaving. Good thing my executive officer knows how to keep things nice and discreet. There's something I have to stay behind and do. And I show how you there is no such thing. While the members of the Steam Council start to head home, I pretend like I have something to do to buy me some time. I knew it, she's staying behind for me. Do you have something more to do after this? No, I'm going to start heading back. Mm -hmm. Saying we instead. Probably she would have been more appropriate. I had to tell her. Today. I had to tell her no matter what. Hey, so, uh, how do we... Yes? The tip-tap of footsteps are the only thing that pierce my ears. Why is this? Why is it so much harder to say one phrase in front of one person than is to memorize a long speech and say it in front of the entire student body? The words won't come out. Ah, time's up. How do you seem confused as to what's wrong with me? It's a hunch, but maybe she's waiting for me to break the ice? I have to say it. I have to say it. I have to say it. Um... Yeah. I try, but I can't do it. Oh. Uh. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Such a worthless human being. Even when it's time to go all in and show my cars, I can't muster up the courage. Oh. Ah! Jeez! Can't say it. Why? We're not going to be able to be. Uh, we're not going to be able to see each other anymore. When is the next time we'll meet again? The next time we'll meet is. Let's all go to karaoke for a student council wrap-up party tomorrow. Yahoo! It sounds like a plan. Gotta be tomorrow, huh? What do I do? Will I be able to say anything tomorrow? Hmm. I tried sending an email to Moscow. I couldn't say anything. Rip me. I get a response surprisingly fast. Oh my, oh my. I wanna die. Rip. So, there are things that you can't say, huh, President? Lol. Shut up. Rip. Hmm. Well, yeah, I was a POS, so I deserve to die. I'll just be doing that now. You're going a little overboard, lol. Uh, just tell her tomorrow. Mm. I was thinking the same, actually. Don't freak, man. Mm -mm. Having all that squared away, I get a ton of cheering from Moscow after that as well. Alright, Ben, tomorrow's the day. For real, tomorrow for sure. It's the day. And then I will stop here for today. Sorry, but if you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and comment what you think so far. And then if you want to play this for yourself, I will link the description, uh, the store page in the description down below. If you want to watch other vision novels, please check my channel down below. And if you want to watch more of this particular one, please check the playlist down below. Thank you and take care.
。